hello welcome once again in this tutorial where we shall be continuing with our vba programming language but in this lesson we're going to go ahead and solve or provide solution to our previous lessons assignment and if you haven't watched the previous videos you can check the link in the video description below and you'll see everything up and running so now let's see how the solution is but before we do that i would want to believe each and every one of you has attempted assignment and you are able to do it or provide a solution in one way or the other okay if you haven't done it no problem we are here to provide a solution for you but before we do that as well if you haven't subscribed to our channel please just do that and press the bell icon so that you can receive notifications anytime we upload new tutorials now let's quickly delve right into the solution thank you hello and welcome to another lesson and in this lesson we're just going to provide solution to our assignment so let's dive right into that so we just open our folder we launch our project so this was what we did we designed in our previous lesson now Simon says we should just go ahead and add two fields that is the base name and then the base contact good so to do that it's just easy right most of you might have done it so let's see how it's going to be depending upon how you are going to approach it each and every one of us has his or idea on how to start it and how to end it all wouldn't be the same I don't know if the what we need is to have two fields added and be able to collect the data from here back to our data sheet. So let's start with that. So first of all, let me start with the front end. So I'll clear the content here. I don't want anything like this. So after this, you can enter new item. So I'll just go ahead and draw with the data sheet first. I'll add here. Sorry. Yes, name perfect, and then here, yes, contact. So let's make it a bit bigger. The base name should be a bit bigger here, and then perfect. That is that. Now Alt F11 to open the code editor. So from here, we're not going to do anything here for now. Let's go back to our form, maximize it. First of all, what I would like to do is to go to the view tab and show the grid line so that I can see the lines perfectly. Then I also come here and just select this range since I have some text hidden here. Go back home. I would love to change the font color to black so that I can have my text here. And then the background color to low color so that I can have the cells back. Perfect. So now I can go ahead and insert the row. So from here I will insert one row. I'll add another one, making two. So this is okay. So here is going to be my base. Sorry. Base name. And then base contact. Good. Now the formatting I have here, this formatting I have here, not the, 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 test holder i mean the formatting that is the borderlines i've given 
I would want to have the same thing here. So I just copy this, Control C to copy, click here, Control V to paste, click here, Control V to paste. Done. I would love to name my ranges here and there. So I'll start with this. Go here, I'll call it P name, meaning PS name. Press enter. I'll name this one P contact, meaning PS contact. Done. PS name, PS contact. Now, here, I need this information to prompt the user. The, the, the text holder here is going to be input base name right so i'll just do that input base name then here will be input base contact perfect now since i have a formula here i'll maximize this a bit this is it. I'll just copy it. Control C to copy. Click here. Control V to paste. Click here. Control V to paste. Space. Uh, sorry. Escape to do away with the format. So we can see that I have the text holders here. Input paste name and then input paste contact. But then it's now all centered. So double click here. Move the cursor forward. Using the arrow. After that, use the space bar to give enough space. It moves to the center so we can add it a bit. Perfect, this is okay. We have this one as well. So use the right arrow to move it up to the edge. Then use space bar to give enough space. It should move to the center, that is okay. So from here, I think we can just close this back. Perfect. And then I think I'm done. With the front end so i can just go ahead select this back and then give it a background white color once again then the front white is hidden then after that you can just go back to the view hide the grid lines and perfect i should have this can now go back to the source code and do the editing. Good. So first of all, I'll just copy these two lines. You know the three lines. One is for the client's name, second one is for transaction, the third one is transaction amount. Good. So we've added two lines, PS name, PS contact. So we copy this to Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Now let's switch to data sheet for more explanation. Here, active cell that offset. We're going to skip how many columns? We're going to skip one, two, three, four. So sorry, one, two, three. Before we get to the fourth one, that is the PS name. So we are skipping three columns here. So we're adding these to three. Then here, one, two, three, four, before we get to the PS contact. So we're skipping four, offsetting four columns. So perfect. Now, on the form, what is the range? The name range of the PS name is what? P name. So we edit that here. So we have, sorry, we have P name. And then we have P contact done. And then now go back to the form. You can see the last execution statement. Formerly it was on C15, sorry, row 15. Now it's now 17. So we change this to what 17. Perfect. And finally, we need to clear content. These three lines are clearing first column, second, the first range, second range, and third range. Now we need fourth and fifth. So we edit this. 
I copy this rather control Z to copy control V to paste now what is the name of this range it is called B name so we edit here the B name and then this one is called what B contact so we edit this B contact perfect so we are done control S to save your work now let's minimize sorry maximize this and then let's enter our data it's just going to be so here we have let's say Alasan Amadou transaction date of 12 2020 amount 2300 PS name Abu Lami PS contact then we click on this now let's check so we have this field for each and every column so let's try it again Got client name Isa Ayatu transaction dates 23rd 10 only 20 transaction amounts 1000 base name Isaiah base contact some random numbers we add that check it here so that is how it is so you can see that this is very simple and straightforward so that is how it's done depending upon how yours is provided you can collect the data from here to here you don't have any problem if only you don't receive, you don't get any error perfect you are good to go so to those who are able to do it say bravo and to those who are not able to do it to do it one or two reasons there's still hope so we keep trying until we get it so that is that and i pray and believe that you understand what i've just done in assignment here so till our next lesson Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.